Hello, welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we are going to solve for x. And the equation is 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x equals 27 to the power of x. First and foremost, please subscribe so I can keep making videos. Now, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite everything so that it is to, or it has the base of 3. So 9 is equal to 3 to the square, squared, and then 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. Now that we know that, we are going to use an exponent property to rewrite this. So if we have a to the power m to n is equal to a to the power of m times n, you can also then say that it is equal a to the power of n times m. So what that would look like is we'd have 3x plus 3x squared, which equals 3 to the power of x cubed. Now that the base of all of these is equal, we can exchange 3 to the power x for, we'll say, y. Now that we have done that, it'll be a lot simpler to just solve for y and then replace 3 to the power of x later on. So let's rewrite that. Now let's go ahead and solve that. A clean slate. So we're going to set this equal to 0. So we're going to subtract y squared and y and move it to the other side. Now that we've done that, we can factor out a y. So y times y squared minus y minus 1. Now we need to go ahead and set both. We need to solve for 0. So in order to get 0, we just need one of the equations to be, or one of the sides of the equation to be equal to 0, since it is multiplication. So let's solve for both. If y is equal to 0, it's equal to 0. Pretty straightforward. And if we have y squared minus y minus 1 equal to 0, we're going to have to use the quadratic equation to solve this. So we have y equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now in this equation, a would be a would be in front of our y squared. B would be in front of our negative y. And C would just be our negative 1. So A is 1, B is negative 1, and C is negative 1. So if we go ahead and plug all those number in, numbers in, that is what we will get. Now it looks like a lot, but once we simplify that down, it is simply y equals 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now that we have that, let's get, let's get a clean slate here and see what we're working with. So we have solved for y, and we know that y is equal to 0, and y is also equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. And originally, we substituted y for 3 to the power of x. So now we can go ahead and replace y with 3 to the power of x for the first two equations. So let's do that. So 3 to the power of x cannot equal 0. So therefore, 0 cannot be the answer. No power to 3 could make it 0. So now if we put 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2, we are going to use the log function to solve for the exponent. So we'll put both sides. We'll log both sides. Now that we've done that, we can apply exponent log properties to the log 3 to the power of x. So instead, the left side will stay the same, but then we will have x log 3. Now that we have done that, we can divide both sides by log 3, 
so that we have x all by itself. Let's write that out over here. Once we've divided that out, that is what we get. Now, we can go ahead and use some log properties here to simplify it even further. So if we were to have log a, b equals log c, b, log c, a. Now, we can rewrite this, this log fraction so that 3 is next to our log. So it would look like this. x will end up being equal to log 3 just like that. Now, technically, that is our final answer. But we have an issue here, in case you noticed. We still have our plus minus, which is wrong. If we were to do a 1 minus square root of 5, we would get an error in our calculator, because we cannot do the log of a negative number. So therefore, since that wouldn't work, the final answer has to be the 1 plus square root of 5 which means our final answer would be x equals log 3, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And if you were to plug that into your calculator, you would get 0 0.438. Thank you for watching this video. Please tune in for more videos.